talk about wardrobe. Talk about leader jerseys. Not our wardrobe. Okay. I'm you talking guys about. Look great today. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Thank the, you, Kaipo. The yellow leader <laughs> jersey that everybody wants on both the men's and the women's side. Well, we got a new guy wearing that yellow leader jersey going into stop number four. Kanora Garashi is going to don a new wardrobe uh, going into this uh, this uh, stop number four. And as we can take a look at the rankings right now, live rankings. Going in there and look at the goat. It's number two in the world going into stop number four. Peter. Yeah, he moved up. He was fifth before this event, moved up to number two after his uh, finish here at this event. Kanoe Garashi, he's going to be donning yellow. His goal achieved when he stepped into uh, Portugal. That was what he wanted to do was take that yellow jersey and run into Australia. He has done that. Yeah, look at the guys that fell down the leaderboard. Seth Moniz with a drop and Kyle Belly Shannon also dropping down the leaderboard. Yeah, it's crazy to think, see how things shift up in just a couple of days here in Portugal. Literally five days and we've got different rankings. We've got a new, you know, leader's jersey going in yellow for Kanoa. And what a cool thing for him to be finally getting that momentum when those big names that have dominated the world tour conversations, Italo, Gabby, Felipe, John, are sitting so much farther down the rankings than Kanoa. He's got that opportunity now. Yeah, well, there's a there's a wardrobe change for the men, but for the women, Brisa Hennessy is going to hang on to that yellow leader's jersey, Shannon. Oh, so impressive. Uh, the, seeing seeing Brisa win at sunset, her home turf, was one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever witnessed in professional surfing. And now to see her having put in the work, getting, un, getting enough points to keep herself above Carissa Moore, Lakey Peterson, Tatiana Weston-Webb, it's really impressive. Also, we have seen a shift, and we're now seeing a lot of those veterans take up that top 10 conversation, which was so different with the rookies dominating it pre-Portugal. Coming off those rankings, Peter, you know, the mid-season cut, a, a surfer that needs to get some, some work done is Steph Gilmore, yeah. if we want to see her in the back half of the year. And of, of course, you know, when we look at the entire schedule, there's that mid-season cut after stop number five. Yeah, no, it's important. She missed out on pipeline, and now um, she has moved up the rankings. She moved up significantly. She's just outside that cut line. I think it's like 14. Um, so ultimately, these next two events are ones that she has taken wins at. I feel like no worries. She's going to be able to get above that cut line. Um, I, as long as she doesn't let that pressure of the cut line affect her performances, because that has happened in the past.